G'day and welcome to another episode of Mr. Code's Steam Podcast. Last month, I received a bunch of new equipment to test from JCAR. So today, we are going to explore eight of my favorite tools to enhance the quality of your 3D prints. Enhancing your 3D prints can take many forms, whether it be to smoothen out your layer lines or repairing, modifying, or emphasizing different details. Now, these eight tools are for both filament and resin 3D printers, and they are all going to certainly improve your 3D printing project. So let's get started. Whether you have a filament or resin 3D printer, you should ideally have the tools nearby uh, specifically to tweak and maintain your printer so that you don't have to share the tools and as a result the dirt from your garage or shed. Keeping your printer area dust and dirt free is a high priority when trying to make high quality prints. So a small toolbox like this one is great to just keep around your printer. This larger toolbox is designed especially for 3D printers, which also includes uh, these nozzle cleaners and USB card readers and clamps if you are prone to misplace your USBs or nozzle cleaners. But I think the small toolbox is usually enough for most cases. Now, I am a huge fan of tabletop war games. In fact, I was the state champion in Tasmania for a war gaming tournament in 2010. One of the most important tools that I use to keep my models looking great is a good set of plastic cutters. But nowadays, there is a huge variety of picks and finishes to help you get your models looking great too. A pick and finishing kit like this one includes a stack of different hooks, picks and pry bars specifically made to remove support structures neatly from your project. Pair this with a set of metal files and you have everything you need to smoothen out rough edges and details to your liking. Now this works great for both filament and resin 3D prints so definitely check them out. Airbrushing works best on models with large, smooth areas that need an even coat of paint, or when you want to make smooth color changes. Now back in my day, airbrushes were noisy, bulky, and hard to use, but now we have these rechargeable airbrushes that work like a dream. Simply charge it up, adjust the flow rate, fill it up with your desired paint, and go. Just remember, like with all tools, keep the airbrush clean after use for best results. You've printed your model, but you can still add more details with a 3D pen. If you're a novice like me, then you can add small details like belts, buckles, grass and foliage and uh, other effects to your model to be painted over. However, experts with a 3D pen can create some truly astonishing models in their own right without the need for a 3D printer at all. So if you're a very crafty type of person, then a 3D pen might be just what the doctor ordered for your 3D model. For those of you with FDM printers, if you print as much as I do, then you probably have bent your nozzle cleaners out of shape by now. You can get these nozzle cleaners that come with both 0.35 and 0.4 millimeter needles and some specialized tweezers to replace the needles that came with your printer. The containers are much safer to handle than just covering the tip with foam and it keeps your workspace safe by separating your sharpest tools from everything else. To make your needles last longer, make sure you heat up your extruder before cleaning them out with your needles. For resin printers, it can be tricky to get a large container of isopropyl alcohol for cleaning your prints. You can get these larger bottles made by Monocure 3D that are designed specifically for cleaning UV resin models. Make sure you follow the instructions after washing and fully dry the model before curing for best results and high quality finishes. While we're at it, the most hassle-free way to clean and cure your resin model is to get yourself a wash and cure unit. We talked about this unit in our getting started with resin printing video and having one has made my resin printing process cleaner, safer and more efficient. There are two modes for this unit, wash and cure. In the wash mode, the unit's agitator swishes the alcohol around to clean your model thoroughly. In the cure mode, the unit evenly cures your model with UV light. 
Big thanks to the sponsor of today's video, JCAR. When it comes to 3D printing, our school is always reaching out to the experts at JCAR. They are the leading DIY electronics retailer in Australia and New Zealand with over 130 stores. So if you're in New Zealand or Australia and you want to buy 3D printing supplies like all of the equipment shown in this video, then make sure you check out their range and visit the JCAR website or pop into a store near you. And that's it from me today. Have you got any more tips? for enhancing your 3D models. Make sure you leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.